Hello world, my name is Dr. Kulmeet Kunlis and I'm a primary care physician. Welcome to my channel Kunlis MD. In this video, we will be discussing about one of the very important topics regarding nicotine replacement therapy. You know, smoking is a worldwide phenomenon and worldwide problem and it is connected with every system in your world and it, there is nothing so far has been found where smoking will be helpful. Nicotine is very addictive because in your brain, nicotine access is stimulated and it produces certain chemical changes in your brains and it leads to production of neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, serotonin, GABA, glutamate, and endocannabinoids and many other endorphins in your brain. When you smoke, you become stimulated and it does it through neurotransmitter which is called non-epinephrine. Non-epinephrine is the one which is for flight and fight. It gets you excited, gets you going. Dopamine is the one which gives you a reward or the motivation. So when you smoke, the kick which you get or the pleasant feeling which you get for a short period of time, that is what is your dopamine working. It is known to elevate your mood. That's where your serotonin works. Other inhibitors and the stimulants in your brain, which is GABA and glutamate, it affects there. And also it helps with or excites your endorphin systems and it gets you going. That's why every time you smoke, you become more aroused. You feel a little bit better. Your mood gets uplifted. But the problem is it could a lot of havoc in your body. Smoking has more than 2,000 chemicals. Out of that, 250 are definitely deemed to be harmful. And 69 of them are proven to be carcinogenic, meaning they can produce a whole host of cancers. So nicotine affects in multiple neurotransmitters in your body, in your muscles and nerves. And that's where it creates a cycle. You smoke, you get a buzz, you feel good then it withers away and then you have to do it all over again. That's why chain smoking starts. And moreover, our brains are not designed for short-term kicks. So when you smoke, you start feeling worse after a short period of time. And then before you realize you're smoking one cigarette after the other. And that is the reason smoking is so addictive and so difficult to treat. Now, the biggest challenge with the smoking is it's socially acceptable yes there is a lot of awareness these days we all know that none of us should be smoking but it's still you are not stigmatized if you are a smoker you people say that you shouldn't smoke and there are public places where you cannot smoke and this every smoker knows that i've been a physician for 30 years i've never come across anybody who does not know that they should be smoking so what is the problem? Why we are having difficulty in achieving long-term remissions is this repetitive buzz which we get with the smoking. That is one of the reasons we are having a hard time quitting smoking effectively. It is a well-known fact that smoking will take at least six genuine attempts before you are really quit. Thank you very much.